Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Mach and Leira online smicha. I read a, dis- uh, a very interesting halachic discussion and I'd like to share it with you about uh, uh, Shailah and Hilchah Shabbos and Hilchah Smukta particularly. And that is, there are some places that for whatever reason, because of a uh, 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 shmira concern, safety concern, a health concern, they want to make sure that people always carry identification on them. If not identification, a passport, it depends where you are. And the question becomes, are you allowed to carry a passport at all times and even on Shabbos if that is what the government wants you to do if you walk outside? So the question really gets split in two. It is walking outside, meaning Hetzah Mershus Lashus or Dalad Amis Mershus Arabim. And then, then you need to have an Erev to make it into Rishus that you're allowed to carry. And then there's a second question. Even if it's in a, it's in a uh, situation where you're allowed to carry, where there is an Erev, is a passport or identification, something like that, considered Muktza. Muktza in the, in, the, in the manner that you're not allowed to carry it even in an Erev, uh, even within the, the Erev place. So I'm not going to speak today about if there is no Erev. I'm going to strictly speak about the discussions uh, of if is a passport a Indian which might be uh, uh, categorized as a muktza. Now we know when you learn Hilchus muktza, there are so many different categories of muktza. There's muktza machmas iser, there's muktza machmas chesar and kis, muktza machmas gufoi, and even a klisha malachte laheter. Things that are uh, permissible to be used on Shabbos, <laughs> there are there were some times that the for that uh, that the Chachamim came along and said there's no need for this on Shabbos. Right now you're not using it. You shouldn't uh, you shouldn't uh, ca- move it around even on Shabbos. Even though if it's a, if there is no usage, if it's not letzayrach, so obviously this is a tzayrach because they need it. But is it muktza? So let me let me let me tell you what. I've seen Achreinim talk about. From one hand, they want to compare it to a telephone book. What is a telephone book? A telephone book is a book that has numbers, and the reason why you write your numbers numbers down so you should be able to keep in con- contact with them or call them on a phone. Calling them on a phone is a, a, pro- a prohibited item, prohibited thing on Shabbos. So. If you look in Shmir Shabbos Kolchas or Perik Chaf, uh, over there it discusses whether a telephone book is a klisha malachte leiser. Now the real klisha malachte leiser is a utensil, a uh, a uh, keli, which a drill, a hammer. Those are usually used to build or to clop, and and it, those are uh, malachas that are pro- prohibited in a Shabbos. But you have to think about it. Can extend to things that even very posh to things. Like I said, there is, uh, since the telephone book, the Rav Tashmish, the Rav usage of this telephone book is for the telephone number, even though addresses are also written there. And addresses are very important. And addresses is no problem. It's not leading to anything uh, prohibited on Shabbos. But because the, the main usage of the telephone book is for phones, some say it's a halacha of Kalisha Malach Delisser. And a klisha malach delisser, you cannot move for no reason. The only exception of when you're allowed to move a klisha malach delisser is if it's the tzorich gufoi or the tzorich mekaymoi. The tzorich gufoi and the tzorich mekaymoi means for it's if you need it or you need the place, uh, if you need the place where it is. But if stamazay to walk around with it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be permi- permitted. So if by a phone book there is this, this discussion, the same would be that uh, a passport should also be categorized as a klisha malach de l'isser. And if it's sort of if you need it, then maybe it'll be allowed. However, a passport might be even more than that. And that is a passport because it's such a valuable, important piece of information it might be categorized as a muktzah machmas chisar and kiss. Muktzah machmas chisar and kiss means something that's so valuable that you you very you cherish it t- too much. So then, 
it, you're not allowed to move it around even letzarich gufri and bekaimai. So if so, I'm sorry, I can't allow you to carry a passport in the Shabbos wherever you are. Wherever you are. However, those that say, since the person needs the passport to, to show his identification to the police or whoever will ask him as he walks around, so maybe it's not a din of, even though it's a very honorable, a very special thing and something that you have to take very much care of, but it's, after all, a klisha malachte leheter. Now, the halacha of, of, uh, of uh, muktza machimah schisar and kiss, there's a big machlekes in achreinim, does, a, does the muktza upgrade to a chisar and kiss only if it's a uh, prohibited type of utensil, if it's a klisha malachte leheter. On top, on top of it being a regular kli, it's also chisar and kiss, then you're not allowed to even move it for a... For a gufay uh, mekayme, but if it's a kalisha malach de laheter, in this case, for example, a passport, all you need it is to ident- for identification. That's a permissible item. That's a permissible thing. The only thing is that it's a very, it's a thing that you cherish, a thing that is very valuable. Not everybody agrees. Not all poskim agree that a kalisha malach that a muktza machmas chesar and kiss applies on a kalisha malach de laheter, and therefore. Uh, based on that, you would be able to carry it, especially if it's a Tzayrach Gufa. In this case, you need it to show off. And a, a very similar thing they compare it to is a silver esrig box on, on, on Yom Tif. Now, a silver esrig box, a silver esrig box, it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. So it's definitely very valuable. But at the same time, I'm keeping my esrig in there. So the Achreinim say that on, on, on Yom Tif, it wouldn't be considered mukta because on Yom Tif, that's why you designated it to be able to use it. But but stamazoi, it would have the same even though it's a char, it's a valuable thing. But because it's a kalisha malach de laheter, the rule of mukta machmas chesar and kis won't apply. So to summarize it in short, either the passport will have a din of a kalisha malach de laheter, and then you could you could uh, move it with tzarech gufai. In this case, and even if you want to say it's, it should be a considered a problem because it's a valuable item, not everybody applies. Not everybody agrees that a valuable issue applies on a klisha malachte leheter.